half is so loud. Mic check. Yep. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. Jakar, get your hands up because I thought you knew. <laughs> he got the red, yellow, black beads going down uptown. Make you frown if you know how it sounds. You give money, ladies and gentlemen. Is this a good radio voice, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Greenville Christian. Huh? I can't be speaking. What's the point? Be doing. Are we 
up and going? We're rolling. Do we know if people are watching us? Can we tell? All right, guys. So, uh, just Audio to check. Announcement to our fans. Uh, if you look at you need to keep the score in your head. All right, April. Try to keep. I know it's going to be hard for you, but it's when they six points and then seven when it goes. You know, they kick it. But our score, we're having some issues with our scoreboard right now. The the, the time is going to work, but everything else is. All right, April. You get your phone out, April. <laughs> All right, so if you are joining us for the Delta Streets Academy live stream on YouTube for the junior high game versus Greenville Christian Saints, we welcome you. We thank you for joining us. And I just want to say that if you want to if you want to communicate with us, you can tweet at Grace Point Lion. If you want to tweet at Grace Point Lion, uh, we'd love to to uh, interact with you that way. So go ahead and give us a shout out. If you are watching out at the field are number one, three, and ten for Greenville Christian and number four, Jordan Meeks for the Lions. Oh, we're not on? Y'all just got me talking? He just told me to wait. Now, we may have one problem. Ms. Jennings just said she can see me. I don't think that's true. I, 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 hope, I hope she can't see me. But uh, hearing me, that is the goal. Uh, yeah. You're so soft-spoken. You're like a gentle giant. We got Jakari and Hemphill on the mic tonight with me. He's going <laughs> to... What's, what's the name you want to go by here on Juke? He's going by Juke or Juke. And uh, he is going to be commenting on the game as well. Bringing in his uh, offensive lineman, defensive lineman expertise as he evaluates the field. One thing you may not know for tonight's game, I believe this is an eight-man game tonight. And so... All right, so so we got Juk on the call with me, and we got uh, Coach Upshaw producing and doing camera work. I mean, he's doing a lot over there. He's got like he's got like twenty devices resting on his arms, like he's a waiter, and uh, it's awesome. We get uh, we got uh, Coach Altman and Coach Giordano. Um, that's the Ag team. Altman and Giordano, I'm just calling them the ag team, and they are uh, coaching the junior high this year, and they are in their second-to-last game. Those are great questions. Why am I being so detailed? Well, they don't have quite as good a view as us, Juk, and, uh, and I think they like to get some extra details. <laughs> Oh, but we want it to be like it is, or better. There's Coach Giordano. Does he look pouty folding his arms like that or just chilling? That's game mode. Still waiting for our first shout-out. With a tweet at Grace Point Lion. Grace Point Lion. Jordan Meeks with an onside kick attempt. Uh, looks good. Right as it's about to make the 15 yards, the Saints player is able to recover. And so that's where they will start. At their own 45, first down and 10. Our referees for tonight are Joe, Bob, and Bill, and Dan on the far sideline. Joe in the white hat, 
Bob here on the home sideline. Bill, the back judge. And uh, number one for the Greenville Christian Saints on the power play to the right. What happened there, Juke? What did you see? Touchdown, number one, Aaron Lee. Tell us what you saw there, Juke. Break that play down for us. So, power play to the right. It looks like uh, the Saints were able to provide some good blocking there to open it up off tackle. And really, number one just did the rest by evading a tackle or two, but mostly untouched. If the Lions thought this was going to be easy, they better take a second look. Number two, it looked uh, looked like when he took the uh, handoff, when the quarterback gave it to him, it looked like he had a lot of room to go straight towards the end zone, but instead he headed towards our defensive tackle. Is that what you saw? Thank you, uh, EK, for tweeting in at Grace Point Lions. We appreciate the support. A little, a little birdie told me that uh, those shirts are in process uh, for those that were willing to tweet last week during the varsity game. And so uh, I think instead of just a drawing for one, I think everybody that, that got involved on Twitter is getting a specialized made Delt Streets Academy Lions t-shirt made by Mrs. Coach Upshaw. Chromed out. They do have nine. They're running one guy off now. Delta Streets fans trying to help out uh, Greenville Christian, making sure, wondering if they're playing with eight or nine. They run a guy off. Hey, I would have been cool with leaving them and uh, looking for the penalty. Here we go. They're going to onside kick as well. And it looks like the Lions, number 64, is going to be able to fall on it. That's Kamarius. Kamarius on the recovery. He attacked that ball. He came from the far outside to get it. So, the ball will be spotted at the 48 yard yard line inside Lion territory, and that's where they'll take over first down and ten. Good to see you, Mr. Bill Spate, getting involved on the Twitter account at Grace Point Lion. Number two, is that Daniel Crane? Daniel Crane's going to get the ball and pick up yard and a half, maybe two yards. I think a yard, two yards. This guy's standing down at the 49. No, I get it. The ball is spotted, spotted just shy of the 50-yard line. That's going to be second down and eight to go for the Lions. Seven minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Lions are going to shift. Daniel Crane's going to break through. He's going to move it to about the 46 yard line. Bill, Bill looks to have some problems matching up with, with uh, Bob and Dan on the other side. Oh, 
Oh, Zion McDaniel is going to break it back across the defense, and he is going to get into the end zone. No penalties. That's a touchdown, Lions. All right, so with six minutes, 13 seconds left to go in the first quarter, the Lions tie it up. Your score, Greenville Christian School 6, Delta Streets Academy 6. And the Lions are about to go for their two-point conversion. And if they succeed, they could take an early lead. What do you think about that, Juke? Okay. To me, it looked like Zion was trying to run the right play, but there was no blocking that way. It looked like he had to cut it back. But, hey, only the coaches know. Only the coaches know. Daniel Crane on the carry to the right side is going to come up short on the two-point conversion. So that's going to keep our score 6-6. Six to six. Mr. Coach Upshaw, are we running the scoreboard tonight? No? Okay. No, I mean, are we? Yeah, okay. So I don't have to keep saying the score, just the time. All right, cool. So we're in the first quarter, six minutes left to go. And you can see the score there, 6-6. Six to six. The time's not on there. On there? Excuse me. We are so fancy and high tech, I don't even know how to live with myself. I just need you to get real loose. Get comfortable. All right, if you're at home, we're being encouraged to get loose, get comfortable. That is an interesting song for sure. Sound like you've heard it before, Duke. There on the play, Jordan Meeks, the ball falls off the tee, and he says, hey, I like it, so he kicks it anyway. The kick and the tee both go about 10 yards, and uh, that's where the Saints will take over, first down and 10 at the 50-yard line. Juke, what do you think the key is for the Lions to keep them from getting into the territory of the Lion Den? Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Huh. That was interesting. As uh, Why do you think the refs blew the whistle when the guy wasn't tackled and could have kept going for more yards? Ah. Okay, well, good tackle by Jordan Meeks. Don't you have another one of these, Mike? Get me anywhere. Well, you're not talking about anything. I can hold the mic. All right, here we go. Second down and four to go for the Saints. Errant pass by number one. Looking for number seven. It's over his head going to bring up third down and four to go for the Saints. All right, so we know we got number four, Jordan Meeks. Who's 22 out there, do you know? 22 is, um... Who's number three? D. Number three. Three is D. Four, Jordan Meeks. Number seven. Who is D? I don't know. Who. All right, number six, Zion McDaniel on the right side. Oh, that's a little bit of a hold there. 
Looks like both referees saw it, so that's good. Number two is going to celebrate until he sees all the yellow laundry on the field. No, they're both for holding. Yeah. Again, holding on the call. Holding is the call. So that's going to negate the touchdown, and that's going to bring the Saints back just to the 31-yard line. But still a first down for the Saints. It's all right. It takes a little while to figure out how to. Josh Crane on the tackle, assisted by number three. Coach Upshaw, can you enlighten me to some of the numbers? Who we got, who is uh, number, number two is Daniel Crane, number four is Jordan Meeks, who's 22? Is 63 Josh Crane? 60. Gotcha. We got another hold on the play. That's going to be at the line of scrimmage or a yard behind the line of scrimmage. There's going to be a hold on the defensive end. Referee timeout on the field. There again, what we all knew is true. Holding on the Saints. Russell Robinson? All right, we'll meet Mr. Robinson, number three. 22, excuse me. Meet no, Mr. Robinson. 64. Who is uh, number three? He's linebacker, middle linebacker. DeAndre Johnson. Have you seen Meet the Robinsons? No, I'm talking to you, Jude. Um, I'm not 30, 40, uh, <laughs> not. Well, no, most people that have seen it are not 30 or 40. Most people that have seen it are probably your age or younger. All right, first question of the night. What year was Meet the Robinsons released? What year was Meet the Robinsons released? If you've got the answer, you will feel self-rewarded if you tweet it at Grace Point Lion. All right, the refs have blown the whistle back for us to get back into action. The Saints are looking at a second down and 21. Again, first question of the night is, what year was Meet the Robinsons released? The Disney animated movie. All right, a good play by the Lions. They're able to make contact with number one in the backfield and slow him up 
giving time for the corner and the linebacker to get there and finish him off, they're going to lose another yard on the play. That's going to bring up third down and 22. All right, we've got an answer. Juke, what year were you born? 2001, you would have been six when Meet the Robinsons came out. It was released in 2007. Oh, SpongeBob overruled Meet the Robinsons. Meet the Robinsons was just a movie, though. It's not like you couldn't watch it and SpongeBob every day. I've never watched one episode of SpongeBob, I'm happy to say. Oh, the Jordan Meeks seeking out the ball carrier, going to bring him down short of the 40. There is a flag on the play, and it may be offsides. There may be a uh, there may be a second chance here for the Saints. Oh, it's not. It's a false start, and I'm guessing the Lions are going to decline that, keep the play, which is going to make it fourth and. We'll call it 20 yards to go. Fourth down and 20 to go. Thank you for uh, tweeting that in. That was helpful to our conversation here to figure out if if Juke if Juke was uh, of watching the uh, if Meet the Robinsons age if he was age appropriate for that Meet the Robinsons. If they don't know who you are. You're a grown man. We can totally talk about how old you are if you tell us. You're the one that told us. So, the Saints are going to go for it, for it on fourth and long. Number one's able to scramble to the left and air out a nice left-handed pass down the field. But number seven... It's a little bit too far over his head, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. The Lions will take over at their own 41. First down and 10, Lions. Juke, we might be we might be the people at the highest elevation in all of Greenwood tonight. There might not be anybody higher in elevation than me and you. And Coach Upshaw up here on top of this rickety box. Hello, James. Hello. 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 Oh, that's great. Great. All right, the Saints are having to send out a guy for not wearing mouthpiece. I guess the refs have warned him, and now they've said, hey, you can't be in if you're not going to put your mouthpiece in. I don't think there's no point of having two mouthpieces. He got one on his helmet and one in his hand. One in his hand. <laughs> it's, it's really backwards. And he's not wearing either one. Yeah. I mean, in his mouth. Jordan with the carry. Throwing Jordan to Meek to Sebastian. That's Sebastian, right? Uh, BJ. Yeah, if that's his real name. Oh, is that BJ? BJ, BJ yeah. McGee? Yes. BJ McGee, 44. So Jordan Meeks is going to complete the pass to BJ McGee for a pickup of seven yards. Second down and three. Here we go, Lions. That was a great kick by um, BJ. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I thought Jordan was going to tuck it and run, and I thought he might be better off doing that. But he risked the throw, and it paid off. The ref with the bad calls. Well, he's just worried about player safety. He's wanting to make sure the man's got his... Did they knock the ball out? It appears so. Uh, turnover. Turnover. On a 50. Hey, 
Our player came up with the ball. I mean, I totally think they recovered it, but I don't. Uh, I guess we can't see it from up here. Well, I thought the ref on this side actually should have made the call that they recovered it because I thought it was very visible. But then uh, Bill, no, I'm sorry, Joe came up and uh, he uh, he ruled that it was theirs. But Joe definitely has a different perspective than I have. So I guess so, James. I guess so. It's a nice, cool evening here in Greenville. Yeah, but I'm not living where our location at this very moment. Uh, scrums in the backfield. He is dancing around like Michael Vick. Number one for Greenville Christian is going to make his way all the way to the 40-yard line of the Lions. All right, first down and 10 for the Saints from their own 40. I'm, I'm sorry, from the Lions 40. The give is the number two. Uh. He's going to. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jordan was so close. <laughs> he was so close to cleaning his clock. Jordan Meeks coming in for the kill, but number two decides to slide into first base instead. And uh, that's going to bring up second down and a long seven. All right, here we go. Second down and a long seven for the I, Saints. I think they should know where the play is going by now, by the lineup. So. Yes. Number 12, is that uh, Jaquan or is that Marquavian? It's Jaquan. Um, Marquavian, yeah. Jaquan is 14, right? All right, so with that pass and completion, that's going to bring up third and, what do you think, three? Four. Third and four? Hold on. Whoa, now they're moving it's it. It's third and two. Third and now. one. Is that one? Yeah. That's oh, two. he's moving it again. They don't. They're confused out here. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's taking it back. He's taking it back. <laughs> no, they're switching because we're at the end of the first quarter. we oh, got to switch sides of the field. See, I need to look at the clock more. <laughs> it's all right. It's your first time, well, dude. At least. I'm at happy least to help you first, along. Um. I want to say the same, but it was, it's good talking to you. It's good talking to you. It's, it's getting real chilly up here. Hmm. All right, so they're going to spot the ball at the 32-yard line of the Lions, and we're about to be able to tell you how many yards they have to get a first down. Yeah, something's not right there. There you go. You, yep, there you go. The down marker's got to go. Yep, there you go. So, a long yard. It's not quite two yards. It's about a yard and a half. Yeah, a yard and a half. Or he just can't hit it right on the spot. Mm. Like the refs. Yard and a half. I, that brings up another good Twitter question. How many inches are in a yard and a half? Don't say the answer. Let people tweet oh. <laughs> in at Grace Point Lion. We'll let you give the correct answer in a minute. How many yards, how many oh, excuse me, how many inches are in one and a half yards? How many inches are in one and a half yards? You can tweet your answer to at Grace Point Lion. Here we go. Third down and a long one for the Saints. Of course, they've got two plays to get it unless they turn the ball over.
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Saints are going to pick up the first down on an offsides call against the Lions. False start. False start is a penalty on the offense. Oh, okay. Offsides is a penalty on the defense. Okay. And we went offsides. You're pretty smart, James. Pretty smart. I've learned a few rules in my lifetime. We're not getting any answers. I don't know. Uh, either people don't want to send in a tweet or they don't know how many inches are in a yard and a half. They're probably still looking it up. You know. Mm. That number two. Oh, the ball is on the ground. The ball is on the ground. And the Lions recover. Fumble on the play, and the Lions recover. And so the Lions are going to take over first down and 10 at their own 15 yard line. All right, are you are you ready to give how many how many inches are in a yard and a half? No, that's not right. Uh, so there's right. three feet in a yard. And so in every foot, there's 12 inches. So in one yard, there is 36 inches. And what's half of 36? Hey, not 36 inches. Dude, it is. That, what's half that, of 36? Okay. Do you know half 18. of... Huh? 18. All right, so what's 36 plus 18? 